What's popping YouTube? We are back with another video. And today, I have my book ready and everything, y'all. I'm going to be speaking on starting my own business at the age of 15. Little did I know what I was getting myself into when I made that first Instagram post, Instagram page. Basically, I'm gonna just speak on a bunch of different things that I feel like is important to know when starting a business and like what's important to know about it, how I started mine and like my story and like my mistakes and stuff like that. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to follow Queen Balls Braids on Instagram. I will leave that right here, but yeah. All right, so I think it's important that I start off with how I started braiding in the first place. For you that don't know, I started braiding when my friend Brandon, shout out to him, he had gotten his hair, he had really big curly hair and he had just gotten his hair dreaded up. And basically he was just complaining about the amount that he was gonna have to pay for getting his hair retwisted and stuff like that. So basically he was in my seventh hour showing me videos of what a retwist was and I was just like, wow, like that looks so easy. So we were talking, whatever, whatever, and he was like, oh, it looks so easy, why don't you come? Why don't? Why doesn't he come to my house and like I retwist his hair for him? So he came, I did it, woo -woo, and surprisingly, it came out good, he liked it. And he was just basically telling me that I should start like charging people and like doing this shit for real so after that whole thing with brandon like i continued to do his hair and i don't know like i just took videos of it and like i was posting it and like people just started hitting me up about it and that whole incident was exactly my freshman year which was 2017 my freshman year 2017 was when that incident happened. But I didn't actually start my page until December of last year. So December of 2018 is when I decided to start my YouTube. I mean, wow. December of 2018 is when I started my Instagram page. And that brings me to coming up with a catchy name. The first thing that I feel like is the most important thing is coming up with a brand and a brand means coming up with your name. So when you want to talk about coming up with a name, I feel like it's really important to come up with something catchy and something that's going to help you stand out from all these other businesses because the last thing you want to do is like blend in with the crowd and your page is not getting as much as, as much attention as it could if you were to like brand yourself differently so this is something that i researched myself not necessarily me coming up with the name queen boss Braids because that's something i came up with my, with my dad but the whole branding idea like how to market yourself stuff like that is stuff that i personally researched myself with the name for me i would say queen boss braids it all started in this exact same room and I was just telling my dad, like, I just want to, I just want to be the queen. I just want to be the queen of braids. Like, I want to be the queen of braids. And he was like, my dad was coming up with retarded names. He was like, twist by Zell, blah, blah, blah. Because whenever you see someone giving you a service that has to do with, like, your physical self, people are always like, buy, and then they put their name. Buy, like, whatever you're doing, buy, and then their name. And I felt like that was just very practical. And I didn't want to be practical, so... I was like, I don't want to be practical, I want to be the queen, like I want to be, like these are my people, like you feel me, like I'm on top, I'm the queen. And then it just clicked in my head, I'm like, box braids. So at first it was queen box braids, and I feel like a lot of people think it's queen box braids, and it's really not. It's boss, because I'm a boss, I'm a queen, I'm a boss, and I do braids, so it just made sense, queen boss braids. And I remember sitting in the same exact room and that name just clicked in my head and I told my dad I was like Queen Boss Braids, like that's what it's gonna be. So my name on Instagram has never changed. It has been Queen Boss Braids since day one. And I feel like that's a very another important thing to ensure is that if you are rebranding yourself, just make sure to keep the same things that you started off with because that's how people are gonna remember you and that's how people like know who you are. So yes, coming up with a catchy name 
and branding yourself is the first thing when it comes to starting off your own business and I feel I mean at school now everyone uh, I don't even know like everyone calls me Queen Boss Braids and like oh Queen Boss Braids Queen Boss Braids like I just feel like it's cool to have a name that's not my name or like has anything to do with me but just my braiding like that's really what I wanted to focus on not me and just my braiding and I feel like with that name I was able to do that very well okay so the second thing that I feel like is very important in starting your own business at such a young age is definitely your parents 100% support so this brings me on to the question that somebody asked on Queen Boss Braids I had like did a little poll thing asking people to ask me questions that they wanted to see in this video and somebody asked how did my parents feel about me starting you know this business and with that being said it's like you know allowing random people to have the address to my house allowing random people to come into my house having random people have access to me my family like whoever's in the house you feel me like so i will say that there was a lot of talks about that when i started but i will say that i've always had 100 percent support from both of my parents especially my mom for sure I do complain because she's a very clean lady and as you know doing hair like it makes a lot of mess so that's where me and her clash heads the most like I'm not saying I'm not clean but I really do I'm tired a lot okay and after doing you know standing there for three hours doing box braids like I really don't want to sweep the floor like I'll clean it up like all the big hair balls but focusing on every piece of hair on the floor is not really in my mind so that's where we clash heads the most but you cannot start a business at a young age being a minor without the support and consent of your parents like that's the number one thing because they have been on this earth longer than you so they know more and they can help you and realize different things like I don't know where I would be if I wouldn't have spoken to my dad about this or spoken to my mom about this because they really helped me understand certain things that I had no prior knowledge of and also just like letting me know like if you're gonna do this you're gonna do this on your own you're gonna have to research things on your own you're gonna be buying your own products that you're gonna be using on people on your own like this is all on you and I feel like starting this just really helps you become a better person and like visualize your future and what you want to get done in your life like a hundred percent better the third most important thing when starting a business is taking advantage of free advertisement in 2019 like i don't think you guys understand the amount of free advertisement we are exposed to we have so many social medias like instagram snapchat youtube twitter all of these things and it's free advertisement because it's free to sign up it's free to post whatever you want which means you could be posting your business and promoting yourself please 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 take advantage of this free advertisement if you are wanting to start your own business and whatever it is whether it's eyelashes nails guys i don't know like if you guys want to do clothing whatever you want to do take advantage of free advertisement and don't let people confuse you into thinking or like try to convince you into taking advantage of their advertisement i don't know how many times people have hit me up asking me if i wanted to you know advertise in their different things like whatever they're doing you know buying advertisements is perfectly fine i'm not saying anything against people that buy advertisements but just make sure that you are taking full advantage of the free advertisement that is given to you because i promise you social media is like the best thing in the world when it comes to promoting your own business one thing i will say when wanting to grow as a business is making sure you're consistent like i know this is something that a lot of people say but consistency is key posting every single day and honestly quality versus quality is better than quality quantity however that shit goes yes you need to be qualitative in what you're posting so me i'm not gonna post you know maybe 15 posts in a day and they're not things that i feel like my social media would want to see which means I'm posting quality pictures every single day. Like, no one's gonna like me posting, you know, doing somebody's hair bad. Like, nobody's gonna want to see that. So me rushing to do all these people's hair just to get posts is not gonna work because it's not quality work. 
people want to see that you have the passion for what you're doing that you will like are going to do a good job that with passion comes the profoundity to like want to do really good on that person like you're not in this for money you're in this because you really enjoy doing it and i feel like that's another thing with businesses is like it's a lot of work and you're gonna have to like put your heart into it like it's gonna have to be something that it's every single day people are always gonna be bugging you like that's something i deal with on a daily like i'm going to school dealing with clients like all day long setting up appointments with a bunch of different people this is a problem that i personally deal with a lot is keeping everything in track i'm a very organized person but sometimes it does become a lot for me keeping like everybody's appointments and remembering everybody's appointments and texting people back while trying to juggle school which has just recently started up which has been like a huge switch for me because this like i said all started in december but obviously the months prior to the summer i was not as big as i was in the summer so during those months you know juggling school and that wasn't as hard for me because i wasn't doing as many people's hair as i was over the summer and in the summer i abused at that time of not having school and i honestly forgot when school started back up like that i can't be doing that many people's hair and like i have to text all these people back and like you know being in school is just a lot so that relates back to having passion knowing that you're going to be putting a lot of work into this which also relates back to posting quality work when you're abusing of this free advertisement that i'm telling you about do not waste your free advertisement posting bad things like i know you're growing as a person and you want to sh like show your growth but as you post you'll see what your followers attract more to pay attention to what people like the most pay attention to your insights turn that on and make sure everything is public and continue to post what you see people liking like i just recently learned people love on my instagram when i do my own hair so guess what y'all see this i'm gonna start doing my own hair all the time now so y'all get ready because that's going to be my outlet on how to get big and that's the type of mentality that you need to have if you want to grow and prosper is that you're going to get big and the fourth most important thing when starting your own business is knowing for sure what you want to do and not switching things up as you go basically what i'm trying to say is if you're going to do something stick to it and just continue to stick to it don't be changing your ideas all the time because at the end of the day not only are you confusing yourself but you're confusing potential customers which is making you lose money also what i'm saying with this is to not care what people say you know when i first started queen boss break my closest friends and yes they are my friends people know i only have three friends my closest friends were making fun of my name and i'm like bro no like it's catchy you feel me and you know it grew on them and they love it now but at first imagine if i would have listened to them and not have chosen queen boss braids you feel me and like chosen something else i just feel like things wouldn't have turned out the way that they did because to me that name is really catchy and i know it's not just to me because everybody's constantly telling me that so i would say stick to your gut and just you know focus on yourself and don't let other people intervene with your business because this is something that you're creating for yourself moving on to the fifth thing that i feel is more important most important is buying the proper products when you are buying the proper products you don't just get to go into a store talk to an associate and feel like you're buying the right products buying the right products comes with research you don't want to give people crappy stuff it took me forever a lot of youtube oh what was the right gel to be using on people's hair while i'm braiding what gel was gonna make my braiding better you feel me like just stuff like that the right mousse to put on afterwards the rubber bands that last the longest so your client isn't sitting there with rubber bands that continue to pop off it's just like little things like the smallest things have such a big change on your the way i'm going to be answering questions that people ask me on clean boss the first question is what's the hardest part about starting your own business or braiding in general so I would definitely say the hardest part about being in the business that I'm in is 
the actual work of doing a bunch of people's hair in a day doing somebody's hair physically is a lot of work which is something that i learned over the summer when i was doing like five people's hair a day and i was honestly just so drained but i was so driven to continue this all summer long until school started that i didn't notice until after summer ended when i finally decided to take a break and my body was just like gone and the hardest part also was knowing that i wasn't just gonna grow overnight like this is something that was going to take time and that you know i just really got frustrated with the fact that i wasn't growing as fast as i wanted to and now that i look back like compared to where i started to where i'm at now like i should be so grateful of where i'm at now and i'm really <laughs> i'm grateful but it's just like i just want to be so so much better than what i'm at right now the most rewarding part that was another question that i got asked and i can honestly say that the most rewarding part is going out and having people recognize you for braiding hair and it being people that haven't even gotten their hair braided by you it's like that's the most rewarding part about all of this to me is and it almost put me in tears because i had went to the outlet and this girl from the store she was just like I've seen your page, you braid so good, blah, 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 keep doing you, like, it really just brought me to tears, like, when I got in the car, I really started crying to myself, because I'm just like, wow, like, I don't even know her, like, that shit really brought tears to my eyes, bro, like, wow. And another really rewarding part is, you know, having people text you after you finish giving them a service and just letting you know how much they enjoyed your service or how good of a service you did compared to other people that they went to. This being other people that are like way older. I'm 16, like telling me that I did better than people that have, you know, a license type. Like that's the most rewarding part to me. The question is, what do I want to get out of my braiding business? And I honestly just want to own like queen boss braid shops in the biggest cities in the united states new york california miami like building an empire is not only going to satisfy my need for you know this passion that i have found in braiding but i also aspire to be extremely rich and the thing about me is i'm willing to put in the work to be to allow myself to be extremely rich like i'm going to be rich no matter what it's already a mindset it's a mindset like if you don't have that mindset you're not going to go anywhere because constantly putting yourself down like oh i'm not growing as fast as i wanted to oh this is not working oh this is not working like you have to have a positive mindset like oh this is working oh i'm proud of myself so and so said i'm doing well like focus out the haters and just focus on the positive stuff and just continue to have that mindset in your mind that you're going to be rich you're going to get it done you're going to be the best business owner possible like anything is possible if you put your mind to it and i'm a strong believer of that and you know it took me a while because it's like once you start doing good it's like people that you used to be close with like they're happy for you but they're acting like they're not and it's like you don't realize it until it starts happening to you like you could lose people so close to you over them thinking that you think you're better than them when they're just mad that they're not doing something positive with their life and i'm not saying this to like make anyone feel some type of way but it's just it hurts sometimes because it's just like why can't you just be happy for me but at the end of the day it doesn't matter you don't need nobody you just need yourself having that positive mentality is what's going to get you there and not focusing on negativity so Back to what I was saying, what I want to get to out of all of this is that, you know, being a really successful business, obviously extremely passionate about. I feel like I have expressed my passion before for braiding hair and it's something that I would love to continue to do and just, you know, make my own products. Like, I want to take this thing all the way and I feel like, I don't feel like, I know I am. I'm going to be successful in this shit. It's just that simple and that's on period. My motivation. So this goes back to the beginning of the summer when I really found my motivation for wanting to, you know, get this shit started. So my motivation for braiding hair all started when I had like a brief moment in my life where I felt like a lot of things were falling apart, you know, like a lot of things weren't going my way. And it was really hard for me during that time. And it just really made me, you know, sit down 
and think like I came into this world by myself I'm dying by myself what am I gonna do to get to where I want to be by myself and it's like after I like sat down with myself and had that mentality or whatever had that talk with myself the rest is history like I don't even remember like having another breakdown after that like I would legit I was really going through stuff and it just took me I had a conversation with this person I'm not gonna you know put that person's inform like information out there but I had a conversation with this person and it just brought me to tears and this person was just telling me you know God has a plan for you God has a plan for you and you know it's different coming from you know adults telling you about God having a plan for you than somebody your age telling you that God has a plan for you and that's just something that like really touched me and it was at a point where I was going through so much in my life like when when he kept telling me that and talking to me about God like I just I couldn't stop crying and it just really opened my eyes and you know ever since then which that conversation happened around that time like I just my motivation hasn't stopped but the last question is when did I start having regular clients so I love my regulars because I just feel so connected to them, especially the ones that have been there since the jump. Like, I always tell them, like, shit crazy, like, thank you guys. But I didn't honestly start having regulars. Like I said, I started in December. I would say, like, June, May is when I really started having regulars. Like, I would have, you know, like, two people that would always come, but... When I hear regular, I'm thinking like 10 people that's always coming back. So I would say around those months is when I really started having regular. But you guys, that's all I have for this video. I'm sorry if I bored you with all of my talking, but this is something that I felt really needed to get taken off of my chest. And this is also something that y'all voted for on my Instagram. So this is something that you guys really wanted to see. I don't know why. But I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Maybe hopefully somehow I helped you. Somehow I motivated you to get up off your ass and do something. Oh my gosh, I hate myself. But y'all, my braids. <laughs> but hopefully somehow I motivated you with this video. And hopefully you learned something. And yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow Queen Boss Braids and follow just at Giselle Williams on Instagram. I promise I'm going to start being more active. I know since school started, I have like it's been it's been real. But I'm going to be back better than ever. I think I'm gonna start posting twice a week if I can. And yeah. But I will see you guys next time. Don't sleep on this video. Share this video everywhere and follow your dreams.